In this quick and easy tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can deploy a project on Versal from GitHub. This is going to be a quick and easy, and easy tutorial. Now, first thing you need to do, guys, you want to go to your GitHub account. And after that, guys, you want to click on here. It says new. Or if this is your first project, you want to click here on create a repository. You will find it here. Now, because I already like uh, deployed uh, multiple projects to Versal, now I'm going to click on new. Okay. So after, guys, you click on new here, then you want to name your project here. It says repository name. I'm going to name it, for example, new uh, best project. This is just an example. Okay, so after that, guys, hi, here you can add a uh, description. It's optional. You don't have to add description. Now, if you want, you can add description here. Now, after that, you want to click here. It says add a readme file here. Okay, so after that, you want to click on create repository. Okay, it's going to take you guys to this page. Now, what you guys need to do next is you want to add the file. You, you, you want to add the, the your project. Okay here just click on add file here in the top and then click or if you want to cre uh, create a new file i'm going to click on upload files and click on choose your uh, files now you want to just uh, add the project here i'm going to add here this project okay after that guys you want to scroll down and click on commit changes now after that, it's going to take you guys to this page now as you can see we have created a project right now now you want to go guys to Versal and after that as you can see I'm going to reload this page now after that you want to click here it says select a gate provider to import an existing project from git repository now I just need to click here on continue with github and it's going to take you guys to this page I just need to give access here because I already did that that's why it didn't like uh, ask me to give access to github Okay, so as you can see, after you are on this page, as you can see, this is uh, like one of the projects I have created six days ago. Now, I just need to click here, and then you want to click on Add GitHub Account. And after that, guys, you want to scroll down a little bit. I'm going to zoom out. Just scroll down a little bit. And here it says all repositories. You want to select only select uh, repositories, only selected projects. Click on it. And here you want to select your project. And after that, you want to click on save. Okay. So after that, you will be able to select your project here. As you can see, new project, which is the project, uh, which, which is the project I created three three minutes ago. Now you want to click on import. And you can also rename this project as you can see. You can uh, name your project here. And here it says framework preset. I'm going to add here order because this is just a random project. Okay, so here after you are done, you want to click on deploy. Now it's going to take you a few seconds for this. As you can see, it says, it says, it says here deployment. Uh, uh, congratulations, you just deployed a new project to Versal, as you can see. Now, you want to click on continue to dashboard at the bottom. Okay, so after that, guys, as you can see, this is going, this is your project. Now, this is just like I said, a random project. And here you can click here on visit to visit the project in the top right. Uh, you can also click here uh, in the top. And you can find all your projects here. As you can see, this is the project I have created right now. And this is like the old project I created six days ago. Now, that's exactly how you can do this. Like anything you do on GitHub will update on uh, like Versal automatically. Okay. Uh, that's exactly what I heard, guys. I'm not sure. Okay. So, yeah. Hopefully, this one, guys, helped you. If it does, drop a like and see you guys in the next tutorial. See you guys next video. Have a good day. Drop a like. See you guys. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments.